going on family and welcome back to my channel welcome 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 come on in the room and get situated if you are new here okay this is your first time viewing me welcome I am Zabi D. Morgan, Holistic Life and Business Coach. And what I do is, is I help children and adults break toxic chains so we can get to building generational wealth, okay? And um, so it doesn't matter what, what any industry that you're in. It doesn't matter what type of trauma you have, adult or childhood trauma, whatever the case may be. If you want some support in that, you want a one-on-one -on -one advisor or a one-on-one -on -one life coach that can support you in your transformation, then book me down below in the description box, okay? You can find all my information there to connect with me, all right? Um, on today, I am bringing you the daily devotional, okay? Because God got some plans for us, and we, we, we need to keep motivated and inspired through his word, amen? And the prophets that he has to design new words. So, I am outside today, so I apologize for any sounds you may hear in addition to my voice. Um, it's Wednesday, and so what I do on Wednesdays is I focus on a lot of soul care and self-care. All right. Um, I still come here and I still do my work or whatever the case may be, but it's heavy on to let me take care of Zabi because I do a lot. You know, my hands is in a lot. I take care of a lot of people. I have a lot of people depending on me. So it's important that I maintain myself holistically. Right. So one one day a week and I encourage you to do the same. Um, if it's hard for you to find one day a week out of the month, then choose a few days out of a month get you a weekend out of the month okay and you got children and everything like that and you can't get away from the house then i understand that i understand that if you cannot um you know start to look out and, and create some space for yourself maybe you can pay a babysitter for a couple hours in a day because you can't take a whole weekend whatever that looks like for you i encourage you i encourage you to car carve time out for you because all those people that you're trying to be there for and, and that's the reason why you ain't got no time those people need you to make sure that you take care of yourself holistically because you can't pour from an empty cup, fam. You can't. So we're going to get on with today's devotional, okay? And today's devotional is entitled The Dam, okay? The Dam. I just love my city. This is Richmond, Virginia, the city of downtown Richmond, Virginia behind me, you all. So if you're looking from anywhere else, this is what Richmond, downtown Richmond looks like. Um, and I'll drop below where you're at, okay? So The Dam. Oh, child lord. Hold on now, girl. Because the wind, child. We got it going on. We got Don't you blow. Lord, please, get the wind. Get your wind, Lord. Okay. So, Proverbs. We're still in Proverbs, family. Proverbs 17, 14. Okay, so it says... Proverbs 17, 14, it says, starting a, starting a quarrel is like breaching a dam. So drop the matter before a dispute breaks out. Okay, you gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. You understand what I'm saying? God said you gotta let it go. You gotta let the thing go. You understand me? I'm gonna read it again. Starting a quarrel is like breaching a dam. So drop the matter before a dispute breaks out, baby. Listen, Proverbs 17, 14. Okay, the picture of breaching a dam is quite impactful. It's quite an impacting way to consider what happens when we start arguments with others. Often our small quarrels don't seem that offensive or harmful, but each small thing can contribute towards building layers of negative feelings and that ultimately bursts when you try keeping that ultimately bursts when you keep trying to argue or defend your point of view. Okay? Let it go. Let it go. It's worth stopping to consider if it's really that important that you, it's, it's worth stopping to consider that if it's really that important that you win this argument. The scriptures seem to think that it's better to let it go than to let a full dispute take place. Being a peacemaker isn't always easy, but if, but if you give it some time, if you give it, if you give it some long-term perspective, you may be able to see that it is better to lose an argument than to lose okay listen listen baby because sometimes sometimes we got to have ourselves in a position and we got to be the bigger person okay now all the time you want to be the bigger person but sometimes that's the right recipe for your journey do you understand me and you have to be in a, a position to let it go you got to let it go baby let it go so let's pray god give give god of peace give me the same spirit of of serenity so that i have the strength of character to let go of an argument even though I think I am right. My peace and love 
come before my need to be justified. Come through, everybody, because listen, I, a long time ago when I when I had to regain my peace, I would fight you over it. I was like, I just got my peace back. It's my peace. You ain't gonna take it from me. You ain't gonna come in here with all that crazy stuff, and you gonna stay over there with that. That's how I was in the beginning of getting my peace back. And so what I had to realize is that you don't have to be all like that. You don't have to be so uptight with your peace that you're 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 disrupting your own peace by trying to maintain peace. You understand what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying here? So sometimes it's just better to not say anything. Sometimes it's better to just be, you got it. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not worth you communicating any past what you what you just said, what you said. It, it, sometimes it's not worth communicating past that point because if the person was at a place where they'll be able to reciprocate your ideas and your consciousness way of thinking then you you probably wouldn't have had a dispute to begin with you understand what i'm saying so sometimes it is best to let it go sometimes the most powerful thing that you can do is be silent yeah leave them wondering and waiting wishing and hoping that you say something else because they're trying to figure out why this time you're not responding like the, ne like the next time. It's because the Holy Spirit done went through you and you done stepped it up a notch. And let me tell you something, you in new level success and so you have to start operating as such. Okay? The way that we handle people, places, and things, all of our situations, all of our traumas, all of our, you know, our, our challenges and different things like that, it, the way we handle them depends on our advancement in the kingdom our advancement in spirituality right because nothing changes nothing changes the adversary is going to continue to be the adversary okay your, your challenges are going to continue to come your way you're going to have so many different obstacles to try to you know step up against you you understand what i'm saying so that that stuff is not going to change the the, the, the the number one thing that needs to change and always you know find yourself in a place of, of elevation is you it's you